Hello, my name is Julie Mitchell and I am a current student at Teal College taking a course entitled Integrated Instructional Systems and I will be teaching a standard based lesson in reading based on the PA academic standards and in this lesson I will use some technology. I hope you enjoy my lesson. You having a good afternoon? Sure. Yeah. Today we are going to look at this picture and I want you to look at it and just think, just look at it. Use your eyeballs. Remember from yesterday when you had our eyeballs? Yes. Just look at this. Think about what's going on in the picture. Think of colors, how many people. Let's give you a couple seconds for that. Okay. Do you guys remember when we talked about literal questions and literal thinking yesterday? Remember, we had the eyeball. Now, when we do literal questions, we're looking at the picture to see what we can see. So we, when we look at the picture, it's what things you can just answer by looking at. What questions? So we're going to observe pictures. For example, like, like I said before, how many, what color, and what people are doing in the pictures. Now, I want you to look at this picture again. And you guys are going to use your clickers to answer some of these questions. So remember, you have to use your eyeballs. Okay, ready? How many children are in the picture? There were three students. There were three kids. Yep. One, two, three. We have one girl and two boys. Now look at the picture again. Ready? Answer this question. What color is the girl's coat? Remember to use your eyeballs. Is it blue? Is it red? Yellow? Is it green? Oh, some people said red. Well, let's look at the picture. Well, it might be a little difficult for you to see, but her coat is green. Her hat is red. Can you guys see that? Yes. You can grab all for that. Okay, last one. What is the man holding in his hands? Is it mail, presents, candy, or hat? What do you think? The man. Remember the word man. Oh, presents and candy. I think everyone got this one wrong, but it's okay. He's holding. Ah, God, <laughs> he's, holding he's holding the mail, mail in his hand. So but presents are. He has presents on him, but he's holding mail in his hand. <coughs> you need to be careful with those eyeballs. Okay, but today we're going to learn what inferential or inferences are. So we're going to put our eyeballs away and we're going to put on our detective hats and, our de and get out our magnifying glasses. And to do this, we're going to look for clues. And you can der derive this by reasoning, concluding, or judging from premise of evidence. When making inferences, you want to look for clues. Example, a man is yelling. Well, what do we think? That, could the man be yelling for someone or at someone? We're going to ask kind of questions like this. So. I know for for an example, when I hear my full liar name, that's a clue to me that I'm in some serious trouble when my mom yells out. Now let's look at this picture. And let's think. What kind what are some clues that tell us what's going on in the picture? Facial features. Very good. So what some kind of questions we could ask? Why do you, why is this boy sad? Why does this boy look confused? Confused, questionable. What if the carpet caught on fire because there's smoke coming out? What if the dog came out? Why doesn't he have shoes? These are all different kinds of clues to let us try to figure out what is going on. Maybe they're in trouble and he's more upset and he's like, I don't know why I'm in trouble. 
These are all types of clues that we can use to make inferences about what is happening in this picture. Okay. Now, here are some that I came up with. What would happen if the dog came out? Would he be angry? Could he be happy? We don't know. What does, why does the boy look upset? He could have gotten in trouble. He could have hurt himself. What would happen if the carpet caught on fire? What do you think the boy in the straw hat is thinking? He looks confused, so we don't know. What do you think, do you think they could be in trouble? Now, I have, somewhere around here, pictures for you guys that you're going to look at and you're going to come up with three questions and what you think might be going on and ask, infer, differential questions. And then you can work together on them if you want. Then you're going to stand up and I'm going to put your picture on the board and you're going to give me one question. You guys can work together. Okay. Your picture is up first. So stand up. You can stand up if you want. Can you just raise them right there? Okay, my question was why does a girl have her mouth open? Very good question. Maybe she's shown that she lost a tooth. That's what I was thinking. Um, was he trying to get back to scaring there? Very good question. Obviously not. It's not working out very well for him. Very good question. Okay, Ryan. Why is the dog hiding? That's very good. Looking for the clues. I don't know. What do you, why do you think he might be hiding? The dog probably knows that something is wrong. The smoke might scare him. Very good question. Okay. Now, on the back of that, I just want you to answer this prompt. How do you think we could use inferences in reading a book? Don't forget to bring your magnifying glasses and your textbook pass tomorrow because we're going to look at this again.